All right, Shalom, Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto your help by Shem Yahushua, by Shem Yahushua. I want to give double honors to the apostle of the great millstone who rule and teach well, and I want to say Shalom to the whole full elect. All right, it's your brother Karad is out back with another lesson. All right. <clears throat> and as always, you know, uh, we're here to prophesy the downfall of America because we know America is Babylon the Great. All right. <clears throat> And that's according to the scriptures and according to the things that you see that's going on in your life, man. In this world, this age, this this current rulership, this heaven, that so to speak, all right, has to burn, man. So the Lord can come <coughs> and we can reign and live righteously under Yahweh Shai, man. So this is uh Second Peter three and seven. But the heavens and the earth which are now, which you're living in right now. Okay, by the same words are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So let's look at that word fire. Because we know what, what fire is going to bring <coughs> this destruction of America, man. Okay, all right. And it says right there, fire, point blank, period. Strong's G, 4442. Pour it. Pour it. All right, then fire, fiery, okay? All right. <clears throat> um, right here, uh, in, in under where it says Revelation 20, 21 and 8, and Revelation 8 and 8, it says fiery flame or flame of fire, all right? I understand that it may mean in a different sense, but, hey, I understand it as this as well, that... <clears throat> America is going to be judged with fire, man. The wicked of this world is going to be judged with fire because you, if you, as you read up a few verses, all right, the world was judged by water, all right? This time it's going to be judged by fire. So <clears throat> continuing on, verse 8, it says, Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that the day, that one day is with the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shai, as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. All right, we under we have that understanding, okay? <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> we understand that our time is different from the Lord's time, okay? All right, the Lord is not on our time; we are on His time, okay? So when a thousand years pass by here, that's just one day unto the Lord, okay? All right, <clears throat> and vice versa. It says verse verse nine. The Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, is not slack concerning his promise. Let's look at that word slack. It's ooh, ooh, ooh. Strong's G, 1019. Braduno. Braduno. All right, the outline of biblical usage just says to delay, be slow. All right, the Lord is not slow concerning his promise. Terry, okay, all right. None of these things, okay? It says to be long, to tarry, to loiter, okay? To render slowly, all right? None of those things. The Lord is not slack, okay? <clears throat> okay, it says uh, concerning his promise. So the Lord is not slow concerning his promise. The Lord is not uh, tarrying concerning his promise, all right? <clears throat> As some may count slackness, but is long suffering to us were now willing that all should that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That means change your mind, man. Stop doing the things that you've you've been doing. Stop living in the lust of the world. All right. Let's look at this word repentance. All right. It's important to get these words. Strong's G thirty three forty one. Metanoia. Metanoia. All right. It says in the outline of biblical usage, it says a change of mind as it appears to one who repents of a purpose he has formed or of something he has done. So if you form a purpose in your mind and you know it's with you, you got to change your mind to not do it. All right? And the same thing <clears throat> with your actions. If you have done something that is wicked, i.e., uh, you know, worshiping Cheshire Borgier, you have to not do that anymore. That's examples of repentance, okay? <clears throat> All right? So that we all should not perish but come to repentance, man. All right. And the ones that's gonna come to repentance is the elect, man. Okay. Here's the point. <clears throat> a ten and eleven is the point. 
I'm going to read the 12, okay? I'm going to read the 13. I might as well just read to the end. All right. It says, but the day of Yahweh Shemesh will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right. Let's look at some of these words in here. All right. We understand before we get there. Behold, I come quickly. All right. Look, Revelation 16 and 15, all right? Backing up what uh, Peter said, all right? It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he who watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. All right, Revelation 22 and 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the saying of the, of the prophecies of his book. All right, Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right, you either going to burn up or you're going to get delivered out of here, man. But my point in reading these three verses is the Lord is going to come quickly, and he is going to come as a thief in the night. All right, <clears throat> backing up both these precepts, 9 and 10. All right, where the Lord said he's not, he's not slack concerning his promise, not slow. Okay, he's coming quickly, right? And he said, and, and Peter said in verse 10, the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. The Lord said that, and he's going to do it, man. Okay. All right. We read it here in Second Peter, the third chapter, and we read it in Revelation. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's go here. And uh, it shall pass away. And we know these heavens is, is speaking about this current rulership because this beast, okay, that we live in, this image of the statue, the the the, the miry clay and the and the iron mixed with you know clay, all right, has to be destroyed. Okay, and it's going to be destroyed by fire. It's going to be destroyed with a great shall pass away with a great noise. Let's look at this word, great noise, with a loud noise. Okay, all right, <clears throat> and we understand and that, know that that loud, that great noise, all right, is going to be thermonuclear fire, man. All right. <laughs> And the elements shall melt. Let's look at this word melt. It says to loosen any person tied together or fastened. Yep, if you tied together with this world, you're going to melt with this world. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. It says definition three to loosen, undo, dissolve anything bound. Okay. All right. Uh, ooh, right here. Let's go down to G. It says to dissolve something coherent into parts to destroy. Metaphor to overthrow, to do away with. And that's what the Lord is going to do, man. All right. All right. It's, uh, let's look at C. Let's look at it. Just look at A, A through H, okay? You can pause the video and read it on your own, okay? All right. Or go read Second Peter, <coughs> the third chapter and the 10th verse. And look at these words, man. Okay. All right. Let's get into uh, my little Samsung. I mean, my little Britannica article. All right. Oh, shoot. Let me see. It's a lot. All right. Because we know <coughs> that these things are going to be burnt up all right, with fervent heat. They shall melt. Okay. All right. And the melting, the thing that's going to cause the melting is, is these thermal, thermonuclear fires, man. Okay. All right. So I just Google, you know, nuclear weapons, okay? And it says, that's not specifically what I Google, let's see. What I specifically Google, it's not going back. All right, but uh, it says nuclear weapon, a device designed to release energy in an explosive manner as a result of nuclear fusion, nuclear fish, nu nuclear fission and nuclear fi fusion or a combination of the of two processes. It says, fission weapons are commonly referred to as atomic bombs. Fusion weapons are referred to as thermonuclear bombs or more commonly hydro bombs. <sighs> they are usually defined as nuclear weapons in which at least a portion of energy is released by nuclear fusion. All right, look, you can see right here. 
a big old mushroom cloud, okay? There's scriptures on that. Isaiah, I believe it's the 34th chapter. Let's go ahead and get it. Yep, Isaiah 34 and 4. And the heavens and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled into rolled together as a scroll, and all the hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from the vine, and as a fig falling fig from the tree. Alright? <clears throat> and it says, For my sword shall be bathed. In heaven, behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the curse of my people to judgment. All right, here you go. These ICB and Muslims are the sword of the Lord, man. All right, oh, let me see what's that scripture. Right here. This is uh, Jeremiah 15 and 25. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of Yahweh, power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. All right. <clears throat> and it's going to be these other nations shooting these thermonuclear f weapons over here, man. Okay. All right. Right here, you see in this, this picture, all right, it says down below a, a test of U.S thermal nuclear weapon hydro bomb at in a walk in a we talk atoll in Marshall Island uh, November 1st 1952 look at what that thing did okay just imagine 200,000 thousand over here bombing up America man all right and it says 144 on my clock up at the top left so call all you how about your mouth shy all right it says nuclear weapons produce Produce enormous energy, explosive energy. Their sufficient, their sufficiency may be best appreciated by the coining of words: kiloton, a thousand tons, and megaton, uh, a million tons, to describe their blast energy and equivalent weights of conventional chemical explosions. All right, so it's gonna be megatons getting dropped off on America, man. Okay, all right, because of its disgusting and polluted ways man and how it has the world how, how it has forced the world to adopt its ways okay <clears throat> for example the atomic bomb dropped on hiroshima japan in 1945 containing about 64 kilograms all right 140 pounds of highly enriched uranium released energy equaling about 15 kilotons of chemical explosive okay so if 140 pounds released <clears throat> about 15 kilotons of chemical explosive, just imagine what 100,000 megatons is going to do, okay? All right, the blast immediately produced a strong shockwave, enormous, en en uh, e enormous amounts of heat, and lethal ionizing radiation. All right, that's, that's what's going to do what it spoke of over here in 2 Peter, the third chapter, man, all right? says the elements shall melt with fervent heat right second Peter 3 and 10 the elements shall melt with fervent heat you see what 140 pounds did imagine a megaton man just one all right <clears throat> it says i'm gonna read it again the blast immediately produced a strong shock wave with enormous amounts of heat and lethal ionizing radiation all right all right ionizing radiation <sighs> It says, flow of energy in the form of an atomic and subatomic particles or electromagnetic waves that is capable of freeing electrons 
from an atom. All right, that's too that's too much for me. I don't understand that. All right, some shit got fucked up though. Okay, all right. Uh, <clears throat> con- con- convection currents created by the explosion drew dust and other debris into the air, creating the mushroom-shaped cloud that has since become a virtual sig- signature of nuclear explosion. And there's going to be a bunch of those over here in America, okay? All right. <clears throat> Let me go back to Isaiah 34. Isaiah 34 and 10, and it shall not be quenched day nor night. The smoke thereof shall go up forever from generation to generation. It shall lie waste. None shall pass there. None shall pass through it forever and ever. All right. <clears throat> so it, that's that's uh, physical. All right. That's going to be there. All right. And it's going to be there, you know, spiritually, man. It's always going to be remembered that this was Babylon the Great. All right. It's going to be that smoke is going to go up that we just read about here uh, for a certain amount of time until the Lord is done with this place. But it's always going to be a remembrance that, hey, you know, this is how not to act because this is what happens when you go against the Lord. Sodom and Gomorrah was an example. All right. But the people uh, we are speaking about the Israelites first followed out, kept continuing to follow after the, the heathen. All right. <clears throat> And now we're going to be judged, okay, according to the will of the Lord, man. And you have to pray that you escape this, man, because you don't want to be in this smoke. You don't want this smoke with the Lord. All right. Uh, let me see. Okay. In addition, radioactive debris was was carried by winds high in into the atmosphere later to settle to Earth as radioactive fallout. The the numerous toll and destruction, death, injury, and sickness produced by explosions at Hiroshima and three days later at Nakasaki was a scale never before pronounced by any single weapon. All right, I'm going to stop right there because now you got to think about what John saw. John saw 200,000, right? And I believe that's... uh, maybe around 2 million, right? And if that's 2 million or 200 million, right? <clears throat> that's a 50 for each state, man. All right, 50, 50, 50, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm off on the math, man, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of uh, thermal nu- nuclear uh, <clears throat> weapons coming to each state in the United States of America, man. It's going to cleanse this place and you're going to see nothing but this, man, as a memorial, all right? So let me go back to Second Peter. I believe it's like fifty million for each state, man. All right, the third chapter. All right, so I just read to you how through the Spirit, all right, and and on the Britannica how um, <clears throat> Hiroshima and Nagasaki was fucked up. All right, this is gonna happen to America, but. 80 times worse than you can imagine, okay? So, verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. All right, let's look at that word dissolved. Mm-hmm. All right. G, uh, A, uh, three, all the way down. A, all the way down to H. You got to annul, subvert, to do away with, to deprive of authority, to declare unlawful. All right. You got a metaphor to overthrow, to do away with. All right. A through G. Okay. To break up. Look at down here at the bottom. In the KJV translation count, that's what it's going to do. You got melt. Okay. And that's what these thermonuclear missiles are going to do, man. Okay. It says. Seeing then, Second Peter three and eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be, in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, looking and hastening, looking for and hastening unto the coming day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. 
All right, we need to be walking uprightly, man, to the best of our ability, man. Okay, trying your hardest to do what you gotta do for your Habashim and All right. Nevertheless, according we according to His promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness, and we can't get that new heaven and that new earth until Yahweh Shai comes and destroys this place, man. All right. Wherefore, beloved. Seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. All right, we want to be blameless before the eyes of Yahweh Shemal Shai, but that's only through grace and mercy, man. All right, it's only through faith, grace, and mercy in Yahweh Shemal Shai. All right, <clears throat> uh, and account that the long suffering of our Lord, of our Lord, is salvation. So if we suffer, all right, we're gonna be saved, man. All right. Even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom un given unto unto him, hath written unto you. All right. So <clears throat> we're gonna be delivered out of here, man. We just have to hope and pray for that. I'm gonna get one more scripture. Yep, all right. <clears throat> so this is Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh Shemel Shah will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. All right, how many people is out here fighting against you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man? The whole world is against you, all right? So this is the judgment for the whole world, okay? <sighs> their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and the eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouths. All right, this is the great judgment of the Lord, man. And I don't want no parts of that, man. You shouldn't want any parts of that either, man. So with that, I want to give all praise on and glory unto you. How about you now, sir? By Shem Dash, I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well, and I want to say shalom to the old folk at Kwame and the Barbara Bar Shalom.